Hello, my dear friends. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. Thank you all who is uh, connected. Today, I will speak. Today, I will speak about love. It's not that any other day I'm not speaking about love. But today I want to speak specifically about practicality. How to achieve things. How to manifest things. How to discover yourself. How to heal yourself. How to uplift your spiritual vibration. That is a hard way. Through struggle. And learning. And fight and pushing. And analysis and thinking. Mental way. Physical way. Experiential way. Experimental way. And there is an easy way. And an easy way, the easy way, is through love. It is obvious. You heard it many times. Shift to your heart. Disengage your mind once in a while. And work through love. So I will speak about that. Just to deliver the understanding. Just to convey the understanding. That this way is easy. Quick. Fast. It is universal. Some people awaken gradually through learning, through hustle, and some people awaken momentarily in a moment, just through awakening. Wow! Flip and you have awakened. All of you have experienced love. All of you have been in love. Even children, especially children, have experienced total, pure, absolute love. Remember that time. Remember that state of being fully energized, fully present in love, fully bathed in love, fully in love. Remember yourself being completely in love, fully energized, fully harmonized, where love shines through every cell of your body, where love energizes everything you do, when you have absolute power, absolute harmony, absolute peace, absolute health. For many of you it was because of sexual love. Just a moment, a few moments, 
where you are fully in love. Where you awaken in the morning and the main idea is, wow, I am in love. For many of you, it is already a permanent state where you are in love all the time. But some of you have that in the past. Realize. You don't need another person to be in love. Another person, your lover, is just a prompt for you to be in love. For you to be in perfect state. Some of you are looking for that another person. And sometimes you think you found and then sometimes you think maybe not. It's not the other person who is making you to be in love. It's not another person who brings you love. Another person is just a prompt, a suggestion, an excuse to be in love. You can be in love without another person, without even existing, without even an idea, without the idea of another person. Some of you already realize that. You can be in love just because. Just because it is a great state. And the perfect choice is to be in love with God. To be in love with Mother God. To be with lo in love with Son God. The love of God, the love of Mother God, the love of Jesus of any other face, vibration of God. It doesn't matter. It is the state which matters. In love with the universe, with the creation, with life, the state of love is by itself is sufficient. The state, the state of love by itself is sufficient. And then you can manifest things because you shift into the harmonic state, into a harmonic state. Your whole, you are one. You breathe with harmony. Your heart beats with harmony. Your mind and heart and all the cells and all your etheric bodies are penetrated with one vibration of love. That is the shortcut to awakening. This is a shortcut to ascension. The sexual love and just love and just God, and just love of God, and just the source energy are made of the same vibration. It is the same basic element. Sexual love has ideas on top of it, but these ideas are not necessary. You can use your sexuality, the sexual drive, libido, you can use it to connect to God. But you can use just the idea of love, which is asexual, non-sexual. You can use that basic vibration of love to connect to the source energy without bringing in bringing up the idea of sexuality. It's up to you. It doesn't matter. It is all the same substance, just different flavors 
same vibration, different flavor, sexual, asexual. It doesn't matter. You can associate yourself. You can designate yourself to be a certain gender or both genders or non-gender or middle gender or ignore the genderness whatsoever. Love by itself doesn't have to be sexual. It can be like love of siblings, love of people in the family, love of non-sexual beings, love of spirits who have everything, both sexes and middle sexes and multiple sexes. It doesn't matter. Sexuality gives you polarization, which adds a bit of flavor to the love, but it's just a flavor. The substance of love is primary and exists before the sexuality. It is just the energy, just the connection with the source energy. You can connect through all three routes, male, female, middle, father, mother, son, father, mother, daughter, father, mother, child, it doesn't matter. Child energy is the purest one. Nothing exists without child energy. So focus always on the child energy, on your child, a sexual child, before you associate it with yourself with any gender. Focus on that, and then if you wish, add the sexuality on top. What does it mean in practical terms? Before the awakening you chop wood and carry water, after the awakening you chop wood and carry water. So you don't have to do anything differently. But at any moment of time of self-reflection, when you remember about yourself, ask yourself, I am that perfect love. Ask yourself, am I that perfect love? Am I in love? Do I want to be in love? Realize it's all within your reach. It's your choice. It's not something you need to get from outside. It is your choice to be in love. It is the harmony the energization that matters. You need higher vibration, higher energy to support your spiritual growth, to uplift your spiritual growth, to be able to manifest what you want in the physical dream, to be able to transform the physical dream if, if you choose to, to uplift, to harmonize the surrounding dream of physical reality to uplift the dream of human collective for that you need energy and harmony for that you need energy and harmony and love state of love is shortcut is a shortcut you possibly cannot imagine how powerful is love how powerful is the positivity how powerful is the presence of god when you look at unenlightened people when you look at mainstream people when you look at people who worry who waste their time, waste their lives, and have headaches, and are addicted to lower, lower vibration, lower, lower vibrational drugs, lower vibrational lifestyle. You can see that everything is within their reach, and you see the way, you see how much you have 
shifted up compared to them and you know the path you would possibly be able to explain that to them but they don't listen and they're not open to the ideas of spiritual upliftment in short when you see lower vibrational people unenlightened people you see where they are wrong you see where they are blind compared to where you are because you already have walked the path from their state to your state which is higher now realize beings of higher vibration are looking at you at the same way beings of higher vibration are looking at you in the same way with compassion they know the answers they know it is possible to lift even higher they know it is possible to become healthier more energized more harmonized less afraid more perfect being able to manifest with ease and they give you the answer which is simple be in love all the time choose to love god mother child father god be positive be positive be positive that's what they say as you look at people of lower vibration you know the path and sometimes you can help them if they are open to that so are the high vibrational beings they are ready to help you they know that you can do better they know you can lift up they know you can grow it's only your attachments only your fears only your habits to of lower vibrational attachments are holding you down it's all symmetrical lower vibrational people mainstream people are given to you to teach you so are the high vibrational beings you are in the middle you're always in the middle you always have a way to go you always have a past you already learn certain lessons and you're in the middle of the way and now the answer is very simple get yourself in a state of divine ecstasy divine ecstasy divine bliss have a crush on god have a crush on god have a crush on spirit have a crush on source energy have a crush on source energy I invite questions and comments. Thank you for being with me. Hi, this is Carol. Hey, Carol. How are you doing, Yogananda? <laughs> <laughs> I am having a crush on you all. You are fantastic. <laughs> I had a question about um, 
every morning when I first wake up, there's fear rather than the love you're speaking of. Like, oh, I woke up and I'm still here and I have all these things. And then I might switch gears to the positive, but I don't like that first thing being, ah, I've got all this fear. Thank you. A wonderful question. Especially this wonderful, I remember just a second ago. I was chanting and then I was about to speak on that topic and then I thought maybe I should invite questions and comments and then you came just exactly with that topic. <laughs> we are so united, we are so synchronized. Thank yeah, you. I was, I was afraid to ask. <laughs> it was a topic, thank you for the prompt, it was a topic I wanted to speak about. The meditation and the dream state. Share the same vibration, same vibration in the etheric fields, and same vibration in the body. In the dream state, the body usually gets into the harmonized state when the breathing, the snoring, the heart, the electricity in the spine, electricity in the brain, are all harmonized. You experience perfection. You experience reconnection to the spirit. For many people, it is so highly vibrational that they cannot relate to what they have in a dream. They either are thinking or sleeping. It's only as you grow your understanding, as you grow your thinking vibration, your awakened vibration, as you raise, uplift, cultivate your awakened vibration, you become closer to the dream state. You become closer to that harmonized physiological state where you are with the spirit. And then you start getting glimpses of what it is in that state. You start getting glimpses of a dream. First, because your lower mind is full of fears, these fears leak into the dream state and cause negativity there and cause manifestation of negativity in the physical world. But later, as you purify yourself, as you harmonize yourself, as you get used to that connection to the spirit world, You become able to manifest positive things in a physical dream. They, they harmoniously come through your dream state back into the physicality. The dream state is a component of manifestation, an essential component of manifestation. So when you are in love in physical awakened state, you're much closer to the dream. You're much closer to meditation state. And meditation is a way to remain awakened, remain conscious of your physical self, and yet uplift yourself in that harmonious physiological vibration and reconnect to the spirit at will. So why do you get so much of negative emotion when you wake up from a dream? Simply because 
it's always a shift down. It's always going from the spirit back to the physical dream, which is heavier. You just awaken to your body, awaken to your to the dream. You just awaken to the dream of your body. You just awaken to the dream of your physical reality. It's always a shift down. It's like going to work which you don't like. <laughs> it's exactly like going to a job you don't like. <clears throat> there is no mystery here. And yet, as you uplift your dream of physical reality, as you uplift your life, the gap becomes smaller. And as you become conscious in your dream, you can become conscious in your so-called awakening into the physical conscious awakened state. <laughs> I have to use so many words because the ideas of dream and awakening are always switched back and forth. Your physical mind awakens to the spiritual reality and your spiritual self dives into physical reality, which is a dream. In your meditations and when you go to sleep, put there an intention to unite both realities. Put there the intention to be conscious in your dream and when you come down, put there an intention to keep the spirit with you, to be your higher self in the physical life. It's all about uniting in love with your higher self, uniting in love with your sp spirit self, and uniting in love and harmony with your soul. The simplest mantra for that is, I am my soul. I am my soul. There is nothing outside. I am my soul. That's it. It's shifting your self-perception from I am my body to I am my soul. That's all. That's that simple. And the soul knows that it is your higher self. And your higher self knows that it is Son, Mother, God. Son, Mother, Father, God. It's all one. It's just different perceptions, different points of view, different angles of view, different facets of the same reality. When you wake up, just on the borderline before going fully in the physical. Make a little effort, a friendly, sweet, playful effort to carry a piece of bliss which you had in a dream down to physicality. Try to Translate the dream you had into the words or images which you can carry down. The whole dream cannot be carried down, but a few words, a few images can be brought back. And cherish those images. Usually they disappear first seconds and minutes after awakening. So if you're careful, you can bring them down 
bring them down and uh, make a part of your physical perception, physical consciousness. This will help you to bridge, to bridge the sleep, dream, and the awakened state, and the awakened dream. The state of love, state of being in love, is infectious. It penetrates everything. Absolute positivity. Grandmotherly positivity. Remember those beautiful grandmothers who can pretend they are angry, but they love everybody. Enlightened great grandmothers. They teach their children, grandchildren in their language. They don't have to speak about high matters. They express their love through food, through smile, through cooking, through cleaning, through taking care of others. But there is that all penetrating love, all penetrating forgiveness. That state of bliss, state of mind, state of non-attachment is infectious. It can penetrate your life and it will absolutely penetrate your dreams as well. It is a magic, a magic potion, a magic chemical which dissolves the veil. That's all what you want. You need to dissolve the veil and to be able to manifest things here and up there. Love is that magic answer, magic tool, magic potion. Absolute positivity, shining positivity. Dissolution of any doubt, removal of any doubt, absolute positivity is the answer. For some it comes through the lifetime of struggle. To some it comes as aha awakening. Don't be worried that you cannot stay in the same vibration all the time. Things change. Embrace that change. To be able to stay in love you have to change all the time. You have to run after that state. And it's alright. It is good to run after that state of love. Except it's not brought to you by anyone from outside. It is the state which you obtain, create inside yourself. It is a choice. To be in love is not a product of labor. It is a choice. It's something easy. Just decision. I am in love. That's all. It's a choice to be in love. <sighs> Any more comments, questions? Thank you so much. Very helpful. Oh, thank you. Carol. I have a question mm -hmm. uh, about 2012-2013. I lost weight, but gained weight at the same time because I lost weight on my arms and legs and upper body, and it all went to the middle. Mm. <laughs> and. Then I started reading about people's symptoms that they're having as they go through this shift we're going through. And many of them have the same thing. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering what I can do to change it because I've gone up and down in weight. I go up 15 pounds, down 15, up 5, down 5. 
up 16, down 10, back and forth, but it doesn't seem to make much difference about the spare tire around the middle. Has that got something to do with love? Absolutely, yes, sure. Uh, remind me your name. April. Hey, April. Just a minute. Allah no How is your social life? Can you hear me? Yes, now I can. Oh. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Same as always, I have a couple of friends and that's it. Hi, hello. Hi. It's uh, Ellie here, Lena. Hi, Elena. Nice to join. Thank you. Welcome. April has a question. Why did your body change the shape so most of the mass went into the middle? <laughs> Is it related to love? I'll give microphone to Max. April, uh, it looks like that is the a typical path for modern civilized society, which is so messed up in many ways. The family is messed up. It's not supposed to be like that. The human design is messed up. It's not supposed. The food is messed up. The diet, the air, the ecology, everything is uh, in a state of a mess. And then <laughs> when everything in the state in the me of the mess, the whole planet is in a state of the mess. That's what, and that what, with combination of your genetics and lifestyle, it all is typical. So you're not alone. It's very typical. The solutions could be many. After all, it's not the body you're looking after. It's not the body. It is the spiritual upliftment, the spiritual path, the choices, the state of vibration that matters. But to reach the higher state of vibration, you need the body to be in good shape. And this shape you got is... Uh, suboptimal in many ways. It is associated with certain 
unhealthy patterns. Now, as Max, I uh, always advocate for Reiki, self-Reiki and getting Reiki and other forms of alternative healing. Basically, that shape needs to be healed. Part of it, part of the problem is that you keep your emotions, especially negative emotions and negative information you keep in there fat and uh, other soft tissues and in the bones. Basically, in the body you store negative things. This is so good. This is valid for a lot of people. Yes, thank you. Yes. What is, uh, April, what is your pattern of receiving information? How much is filtered? I didn't quite get that. Uh, do you know who is the president at the moment? Do I know who the president is? Yes, just a question, yes, no. Oh, oh yes. How do you know? How do you get this information? Um, from YouTube or from Facebook? Yeah, in ideal healthy state, you shouldn't be able to know who is the president. Because all... You know, with the idea of the president, they get all the junk. <sighs> That's Max speaking. In ideal state, you should be somewhere together with uh, Jesus and Buddha and other saints. So the news of thousands of years old would be your best. And uh, beings of thousands of years old would be your best friends and focus of attention. So somehow the pollution of the information ends up in your body, which is not bad, but you fail to purify, transform it into the positivity. That's the key. So it doesn't have to only end up in your tissues. You need a way to transform it into health, energy, harmony, love, vibration, purpose, Ascension, connection, unity. So information poisoning is one main path and food and air poisoning is the second main path. So when they combine bad food with bad information, they end up into the fat middle side of the body. That's the simple answer from Max. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, giving the microphone to Yogananda. Now we'll do a guided meditation to harmonize your belly. Mm -hmm. Relax. <laughs> You should have uh, a simple way to relax. Allah. It should be so habitual. Just deciding to relax. You would smile and fall in a relaxed state. Allah. I'm relaxed. Allah. Completely relax. Just relax in your chair, relax in your bed, relax where, wherever you are. Allah. Keep breathing. Keep breathing deeply, consciously. The air is full of spirit. The air and spirit are synonymous. The element of air is the spirit. Between these little atoms, between these little molecules, there is tons of spiritual energy. It's saturated, it shines, the air shines with spiritual energy. When you breathe in, it's all yours. It's just for you, it's up for you. It's for you to take, it's up to you to take. 
Allah Omaya. Keep breathing consciously, deeply, happily. Smile. Allah Omaya. Place your palms. Energize your palms. Energize your palms. Blow at your palms. All the spiritual energy going to the, your palms. Allah. And place them on your belly. Now I'm coming into your belly. Allah. Through your palms. And through your lungs, through the air, I'm there. Allah, I'm already there. Allah, Allah, Allah. Allah. Nice to be in your belly. Allah. Oh, fat cells. Happy to see them. Happy to enter them. Allah. Allah. I was also fat in my middle. Allah. Allah, but I was also strong, and I was also in complete state of happiness and connection much of the time. Not always, but much of the time. I was so blessed. Uh, Divine Mother was with me much of the time. My friends, my teacher was with me much of the time. Allah, and now I am with you. <laughs> Allah, you don't have to do anything. You let me do things. Allah, oh, so much junk in your fat cells. All this information. Allah, I love it, I kiss it, I smile to it, I shake hands with it, I send it to God, I convert it to positivity, it's all positive, it's all love. You are full of love and your love is accumulated in your fat. Allah, Allah, oh my. It's kind of captured there, yeah. Your love is captured. By combining one kind of love with another, it's captured and made the substance of Fat cell, it's attached to your fat. Allah, now. And it's also swollen. It's not only fat, it is fluids which are swollen. Your cells, your tissues are swollen with lots of disharmonious, disharmonious love. Just love converted to nonsense. Yeah, it's nonsense made of love. Allah, Allah, so much dirty work, yeah. Allah, you should be doing that. Allah, 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 I'm untangling these nuts and tangles and untwisting, unwrapping. Love from love. Love wrapped in love, wrapped in love. All messed together. Uh, it's like coffee with sour cream. Try that. That's what you got. Coffee with a sour cream. Nonsense. <laughs> Allah, 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 Sushi made of newspaper. That's what it is. Allah, Allah. Yeah, stop learning that nonsense. Why do you need it? It doesn't help you at all. Cake Allah. with palm oil. Say again. Please repeat. Lena, Lena. Allah, Allah. Nonsense. What was it? I am love. I am my soul. <laughs> I release. I love you. I let you go. 
Yeah. I'm good, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Allah ya na o. Feel the energy going through your hands. I'm working through your palms. Allah na ma. Hmm. Release, blow out, like cough out. Don't overdo it. April, don't over. Just once, like ah, that's it. Sufficient. Not, not the need to create a chronic cough. Just once. Ah, that's it. Blow it out. <coughs> okay, I'm blowing it out. All right, so now you're good. So drink water as... Okay, when you have a cup of water later, just hug it with your palms, blow on it, and send it your love to it. Make it a... Mm, a magical charged cup of water. It will be your potion to release the dirt, potion to release the negativity. Spend half a minute just saying your love, sending your love. I will give you a mantra. The mantra is, I love you. Just say it to the water, I love you. It's conscious. It is, it's a life conscious and I will be there in that cup when you send me there. Say just, I love you. And then when you drink, drink it as very expensive beverage, like wine or something. Drink it as a healing potion, as a panacea, yes. And then as it goes through you, give it all that you don't need. Give it all that confusion, all that love which is messed up. Give all the messed up love and release, release, release. It's only the state of mind, only the state of being. Only the state of being defines your shape. Change the state of being and the shape will be changed. You got to change. <laughs> you got to change. Messed up love. Mm-hmm. Allah, I, I, I messed up love. Yay, yay, yay. There are gems in it, but you need to release it. Release it. Keep the gems, release everything else. Allah, 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 Allah. Use candles. Get a bunch of cheap candles and use them. They are perfect to burn all that negativity, all that nonsense. Just said it. Send it to the candle. Send it. The candle takes it away, purifies. What you need, you keep. Everything else got to go. You don't have to remember who is the president. That's the beauty of it. If you need to, you will ask later. Someone will tell you. Allah yana oh yana You don't have to remember how old you are. You don't have to remember hmm. all, all other nonsense, all other nonsense. I don't remember it, so I can't even give examples. <laughs> I, I have a question. All right, hold on. Just a second. Let me wrap it up. So, I am wrapping it up. <laughs> I'm still there and I'm still here. I have uh, replicated my bifurcated, replicated, separated uh, different sides of me. So keep working and we'll continue speaking. It is possible to to separate. Yes. Okay. Yes. Lena. Yeah. Hello. 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 When you went to the other world, did you regret that you have done so much more when you were in the three-dimensional? Of course, time is just an illusion. I was, uh, I was privileged to, to choose the timing of living. I was privileged to travel back and forth in time in my spirit so it wasn't an, an 
an unexpected event. It was a planned event, and uh, I took it as uh, all at once, future, the point of separation and the past was all at once. It wasn't something I went through with myself. My consciousness was distributed in the after, in the before, and in the middle. Mm -hmm. It is a big uh, privilege to be like that. So I, I'm still living my life there. It is, I'm not separated from my physical body there. I'm still connected to it. Mm -hmm. And I'm still connected to that moment. It was a beautiful yes. moment. It was well done. We can feel that. I'm sure we all can feel that. Because the presence is very, very strong, very real. Also, my job was complete in many ways. And my body didn't serve the purpose for a long time. It was... It was uh, it was hard for that body to support that much of uh, spiritual activity. It was uh, the DNA didn't uh, stay uh, stay uh, harmonized that long. It's not natural for it. So I just went along with with the natural causes. Okay, so it was an easy yeah. I did so much yeah. travel, and I'm thankful to that body. I did pretty well with that much travel, and with that ecology. It did pretty well. I like it. It was small but nice. But uh, I can I can feel that you maybe can be coming back to work, and so at some point. Say again. You can be coming back to earth. In oh, I have many time. incarnations. I'm I'm good. Thank yeah. you. I don't have to be in one. I I uh, earned to the opportunity to, to be in multiple incarnations. There oh. is enough energy. I can chip off some energy, and uh, because of your love and the love of mm -hmm. humanity, there is enough energy in my soul so I can contribute to multiple, multiple incarnations at once. Yes, That's Max is not my incarnation, but. I also chip some of my energy to Max as uh, his uh, spirit guide. Nice. Thank you. We all uh, have a positive uh, income from that. And uh, my energy is yours too. Take as much as you need. Thank you. I, I've heard from Carol actually about you. Carol. She's, she's here. Carol, yes. hello. Thank you, yes. Hi. Hey. <laughs> of course, I try and talk about Babaji and Yogananda and the Kriya Yoga as much as possible to help people mm -hmm. um, be, be um, aware of it. Yeah. I, th I think you did a lot of good work in order to to make this known to the most of people as you could. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> but as a Kriya Yoga initiate, I can only... I uh, teach the primary techniques. Um, to teach the secret technique, I have to have permission of Babaji. And um, so that's, uh, but the primary technique uh, does help um, elevate your energy quite instantly. <laughs> mm -hmm. like Who is speaking? Please uh, explain again. What's that? Who is speaking? What's your name? I'm Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, I yes. I wasn't sure. Shanti. Thank you. I did, I yeah, expect miracles from me to know everything. And uh, sometimes it's not um, not suitable. It's not easy because we have to hold back on some things because of the Kriya Yoga uh, secret technique. So we have to go to preliminary sort of introduction for people to practice um the primary techniques to 
and secretly it does work into the chakra, into the organs, the bloodstream, and into the spirit where Babaji does come and um, bless you to higher energy. And if you are guided, like I was guided, when I um, called Babaji in heat, and I needed a teacher, he actually appeared in front of me in a full light. And I asked him if he could be my guide. And I found out that he's been my guide since I've been a little girl. And two weeks after, I, uh, I met Brahmananda, who was giving a Kriya Yoga lecture in Edmonton. I understood everything he said, but my friend beside me didn't understand a thing. So, um, after that, I lived in the ashram in Edmonton, and then I stayed in the ashram in Washington, D.C. I met uh, Hari Hari, Hari Harananda, came from India, which was on the long side and taught by Yukteswar. Um, I was pretty astonished by the uh, energy flow and the teachings and also placing myself close in front of Hari Hanananda, he was able, I was able to understand when they say that the teacher can speak to you inside without him saying anything in the voice out loud. So I hear, I heard him tell me things about the technique, the secret technique of where to go into my body, into my chakras and where the uh, blockages were which I found interesting. And I've grown with re Kriya Yoga since then. I meditated five, six, seven times a day, just 15, 20 minutes. Uh, my first question, which is interesting today, was, what is love? My first question was, what is love? Because I wanted to know what it really was, and the answer was, what God gave me was to love everything, even the drunk man in the middle of the street doing, so I understood um, uh, Mother Teresa's work, Mother Teresa's work is real love, helping the poor, the sick, not an easy job for anyone to do and been on the path of love since loving everything nature animals people sick people understanding them and um it's been quite a path seeing a lot of things thank you thank you carol thank you anyone else yes i have a question Mm -hmm. um, can I ask a question? Yes, go ahead. The, hi, this is Eva. And I have hi, a Eva. Love question. <laughs> can I have? Can I ask a love question? By the way, Yogananda, wonderful to see you, and wonderful to see Max and everybody. And uh, I'm happy. Um, is my question. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a it will be about a romantic love, but actually first challenge. And I needed advice, which means I don't know if I am imagining something and I should address it, or I think I'm not. But if it, my question is, is, is it personal really, or I'm seeing big picture? Um, the person who I chose to be my boyfriend is loving people he's actually very general generous with his love and support to community so i have seen him giving lots of hugs but also a hug with a kiss to some female and i felt the love which was going from him to her and I 
what I experienced while watching it wasn't at all um, in thoughts. There was a dark cloud, which I felt very dark feeling. Mm -hmm. And now what I could ex have experienced was my jealousy that mm -hmm. maybe I have a feeling what what he's doing is being loving towards people to the ex extent of crossing their personal boundaries. Mm -hmm. And it feels to me because I know that a lot of people are in love with him. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if it feels to me that maybe what I felt was jealousy, but maybe also what I felt was something which he should not be doing because mm -hmm. this kind of showing of love is actually kind of shock love. I don't know even how to mm -hmm. say it. It mm -hmm. feels like he sh it's almost like getting crossing people's personal boundaries and giving them false expectations. Mm -hmm. And again, I don't know if I'm imagining it or if it's, I, I think it's my reality. And I think that I, I need advice here. Right, right, right. Wisdom. Max is still here. Uh, you're gonna this around. Uh, it sounds all pretty familiar. The question is posed very correctly, and um, I think from your perspective and from Max's perspective, it is um, all real, and the concern is real, and now the question is, what do you do with it? What, what is Yogananda thinking about? Oh, you want Yogananda? Yes, I do, because I just, I'm so afraid of even addressing the issue, but I'm going through panic attack. Perfect. Uh, let me let me do a little bit for Max, and then I will bring you Gananda, because uh, there is more of uh, a human issue here than yet. So, the question is, what do you do with it? You see, Max and Yogananda is just, it's the same person. Yeah, yeah. It is just, uh, it's easier for me to speak on that topic. Because uh, I associate pretty much with the uh, with your boyfriend. I can uh, sympathize a lot with that. For me, it was um, a choice and it is still a choice. And there is a lot of darkness in every one of us and there is a lot of desire in every one of us. And it is a question of uh, how do you get more done? How do you get more energized? How do you serve better and how you uplift the people? It's all kind of comes together. So it's balancing. It's balancing on air. On a border, on a certain border. It's a, it's always a balance and uh, uh, how does it portray or how does it look in your eyes? in your own conscious and your own um, ethical values and uh, and ethical values of, of other people. You cannot be in this society, you cannot be fully open because if you are fully open, you're completely screwed up. People can't take you. So you have to separate and hide your sexual feelings, your energy feelings, your attachments, your desire for fame. It all has to be packaged and separated and presented in a presentable manner. So I fully understand him. It's a question of his integrity and uh, it seems that his integrity is sort of not fully defined. It is, it is fragmented. In certain cases it is multiple personalities. One personality is loving one person, another personality loving another person, and third personality dealing with you. It's all about social conventions. 
imagine a Pleiadian world where it all would be absolutely the same, all the same relationships, but it would be absolutely socially appropriate. Or some other tribal world or something else. It's only in these circumstances where it is inappropriate. It's a question of for, it's a trial for you and for him and for uh, your relationship. You see, to transform it, you don't really have to face it physically. You might be able to transform it through your inner work. It's all about you, how much you hold on to the person, how much you hold on to the your uh, perception of that, of ownership, of trust. And also that cloud is uh, symbolizing that there is a conflict not only in physical, it's mostly conflict in his mind and in the spiritual. So it's absolutely real, but how do you deal with this cloud? It's all about ownership. Especially with popular people, they want, people want to own them. And their desires of multiple followers to own a person crush, clash, and fight each other. So there is negativity which you have to deal with. Okay, now I will bring you Gananda. Allah yahanna Of course, it is your choice and it is your lesson and the lesson is uh, brought to you because it's you're ready for it. It is an opportunity for you to rise up. It's an opportunity for you to, be, to rise above the situation. It is about learning how to love in a non-attached way. How to shine in a non-attached way. It is a perfect opportunity for you to become more independent and dependent at the same time. If you raise the energy of love in yourself, you will rise above the trouble. It's an inner work which is possible. It's your choice, of course. It is possible. Because all the souls, all these people are aspects of you. It is only in your current state the problem is a problem. Only in your, in, your current, in your current state of energy and vibration, it is visible and it is serious. As you rise to the next level, it will be so transparent that there will be nothing hidden. And if it is nothing hidden, it's not a problem anymore. It's a problem because it is hidden. You are now in a predicament, in a challenge, in a stressed, stretched, compressed state where you face a, a choice. You, you have been facing, you have been placed in front of a choice. There is very little you can do graciously in the current state. But there is a lot which you can do with grace and beauty 
and power as you raise above. I am with you. Your teachers are with you. Your guides are with you. You are not alone. And your boyfriend and others give you a perfect opportunity, perfect drama for the learning. It doesn't really matter what you do physically. It doesn't really matter what you say. It is your state of mind, state of soul, state of vibration which matters. It is an opportunity to remain in love and grow your love even though the outside world doesn't cooperate. Realize it is your state of mind which contributed to this situation. It is your state of ownership, your perception of ownership, a relationship which brought up the situation. Rise above it. You can do it. You can choose to do it. Solve it in your mind. Solve it through forgiveness if you choose to. Solve it through giving everybody involved the credit and looking at them as little children. They're playing a good game. They're playing an energetic game. As best as they can. And your plan is as best as you can. But you can solve it just by changing yourself, by transforming yourself, by raising above it. When you are absolutely positive, when you are absolutely loving, when you are in harmony, nothing can harm you. When you are in harmony, nothing can harm you. Keep breathing. Work through your physiology. Work through your body. Max had to come back to mute. Stop. Eva, I will mute for a second. You can unmute yourself later. There is a feedback by some reason. Allah Allah, it's still here. Allah no. Allahumma annahum ayyannahum It's all in your mind, it's all a dream. Be thankful for that situation, be thankful for that love, be thankful for that sourness, for that conflict, for this lack of trust. It's all about trust. Shine your light on it to resolve it one way or another. You have to be comfortable with either resolution. You should be comfortable and whole, complete in either situation. When you lose your fear, when you lose that dependence, when you Purify your love to the level of complete perfection. The fear goes away, the jealousy goes away. You have to live through both situations in your heart. You have to live through the complete separation and complete union. You have to live through all the scenarios and accept them all as positive. You convert all of that into love. You convert all of that situation as a child play. There's a little kittens, little children that play without knowing what they do. Rise above that. Be higher. Be perfect. Be energized. It's all done for your perfection. It's all created for your upliftment. Accept it. Rise above.
heal through your physiology, through your body, heal that trauma. It's already there. It's already trauma. This trauma is real. Heal it. Convert it into strength. Make yourself strong. Find yourself in this trauma. Find yourself. Find who you really are. And what do you really stand for? What is your preference? What is your core desire? What is that you need? The only real solution is completely letting go of everyone, of all attachments, and that letting them to be with you as much as they wish to, and shining no matter what, loving no matter what, everyone as a little child, loving everyone as a little child. That's ultimate solution. Releasing all attachments and yet keeping your life. Continue chopping wood and carrying water. Continue doing your work while releasing all the attachments. It's not only possible, it is easy. It's done through love. It's done for accepting. Full, complete acceptance and yet continuing to do your work, continuing to walk your path. It might sound unrealistic, but that's easy. That's the ultimate answer. That's the only answer. Releasing non-attachments and continuing your walk, continuing your path. Allah. I'm with you. I am you. I am in your heart. I'm that hope in your heart. I am that healing in your heart. The pain can be gone. Just let it go. The fear can be gone. Just let it go. The sour feeling, the feeling of betrayal can be gone. Just let it go. You are complete in yourself. It's all just a dream. Love everybody. Love everyone in non-attached way. You possess your soul. You are your soul. Be kind to your body and the bodies of others. Be kind to confusion of your body and confusions of others. You are eternal soul. You are a beautiful vibration. You are a shiny child. I love you. Allahumma. Hello. Mm. Thank you so much. I'm very, very grateful, and it was wonderful. I will have to, of course, listen to it again. Thank you. Yes, you. Uh, the recording is going. Yes. Yes, wonderful. I'm driving to work right now. So. Oh, I'm sure. Absolutely. Back. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Okay, I stopped the recording. If any anyone does anyone want to share anything or question uh, or ask anything. All right. I'm stopping the recording. We are off record. <laughs>